Thursday leading up to Memorial Day weekend. Very, very fun. I have been letting the stuff pile up. Oh, that's not too bad, I don't think. But uh, I haven't been here in a while and I just haven't had time to come on and say hi. So I wanted to do that tonight. Um, we're drinking a brand new brew called um, from Newcastle called Bombshell. And it has an awesome pinup on the, on the uh, label. Really fun, nice light summer brew is called a pale blonde ale. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna jump in and show you what I got recently. Uh, hang on, one more thing I left over here. Oh, you got it. Okay, okay. Uh, where am I gonna start? Okay, let's start with the new art. Some of the new art prints. Um, I received my print from Society Six from Van. Look at that, it's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? 1920s lady, just love it. Very beautiful. Uh, I got my um, uh, portrait of the artist, the fist and the brush. I got this one framed by them and they do a beautiful job. Look at that. You can get a couple of different shapes of frames, lots of different colors of frames, and they're really cheap, framed, really, really worth it. They even had the, have the brown paper covering the back, the acid-free paper covering the back, and the hanging hardware's there. Just beautiful. I have a bunch of new prints, new creeple prints, uh, in the Society6 shop, and I'm going to be um, pressing them my printing them myself and selling prints on textured archival paper myself and those will be a little bit more expensive because they're being printed by me not by somebody else and uh, they're going to be really really special some of the new creeples are um, Lady Lotus lascivious Lady Lotus look at that, she's great uh, we have Donna Double Toil and Trouble. They're very fun. Um, we have Chloe Vacations on Meat Island. This is one of my very favorites. And we have Chef Sufu Prepares Meat. Isn't she fabulous? Uh, there's a bunch more creeples in the Society6 shop, and I'll, I'll put a link down here if you want to buy prints from Society6, they're very cheap, um, unless of course you want to wait for, for my prints. Uh, let me see, okay, uh, eBay, I got a lot of six Children's Records Guild, Children, Children's Record Guild. <laughs> and um, Young People's Records, beautiful. These are all 10 inch 78 children's records with picture sleeves, everyone had picture sleeves. They're all in beautiful shape. Uh, let's go to the rodeo, isn't that sweet? Uh, Hunters of the Sea. We got the Children's Record Guild, a planned program for children to help them love, understand, and grow with good music, very fun. We got the December Almanac. That's going to be fun. It probably has some holiday stuff. We got sea songs. Very fun. And we got Swing Your Partner. They're beautiful. Just beautiful. I love the sleeves on them. Um, last week I, I stopped in the thrift and I found these. Um, this is in gorgeous shape. This is a capital um, Sounds of the Great Kessaloma Band. Look at that. You know I love Glen Gray. So that was really, really fun. I found a couple of, of strange um, Columbias, all, green Columbias. They're all foreign. I haven't heard them yet. But um, I believe, uh, I believe they're Hungarian records. But they're all um, green Columbias. Very nice. And I found this really fun children's record uh, set called Pesach. It's a... Uh, um, or Pesach. It's a Jewish festival holiday and um, it's a two record set and both records are in there. It's on Menorah Records. Very, very beautiful. That's really, really sweet. I love that. Love the cover. Look at the, uh, isn't that sweet? Okay. Uh, 
Okay, also on eBay, I got um, a, pr a little press kit of Joe Strummer and the Mescaleros. Look at that. This was uh, a press kit of when uh, Global Go Go was released. And of course, Strummer is my favorite. It's really, really fun. Um, oh, also with the thrift, I got this awesome little thing. Um, it's a little mid century um, ashtray, glass tray of some sort. Um, and it says Limbo, and there's a guy doing Limbo, and it says Puerto Rico on the bottom. Very, very fun. Just love that. The Limbo. Very exotic. That's sweet. Um, also got the Sears Music Van. This is a record player I have wanted for a very long time. Ever since DeSoto found his, and I saw it, I have been looking for one ever since. And I finally found one on eBay. It's a beautiful Sears music band. It is a record player inside. And uh, it's just great. It works wonderful. Really fun. Okay, now, what else did I get? Okay, this is eBay 2. Uh, I got six records for my favorite 78 seller, um, Paul Solarski. Uh, I got a perfect Thanks for the Buggy Ride by Phil Hughes and his Hi Hatters. Back to I'd Rather Be Alone. Beautiful. I got a Regal, The Grass is Always Greener by Fletcher Henderson, and June Night by the Chicklet Orchestra. <laughs> Very fun. Uh, I got a Victor Scroll. This one is Use, Used to You by Nat Shilkrit. The other side is Why Can't You? Nat Shilkrit, one of my very, very favorites. Uh, I got an Edison Bell winner record. Um, this one is All By Yourself in the Moonlight. by the Plaza Bands. And the other side is for all time's sake. Isn't that fabulous? I, I love the, um, the label. I got uh, a Pathé Actuel. I'm sitting on the top of the world by Lana's Arcadians. Backed with, oh, Eukbia? Uh, I can't read it. Yukbia by the Palace Garden Orchestra. Very beautiful. And I got um, Hiawatha's Lullaby by Hal Kemp, another one that I love. Uh, back to within a little secondhand store. I love the title, and you know, we love secondhand stores. Um, also on eBay from another seller, this one from England um, is a beautiful British Rex with the Hollywood Dance Orchestra doing Winter Wonderland. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just love the uh, old dance orchestras doing Christmas music and you don't find them that much. They must sell like that, you know, all the Christmas, just like Edison, it's hard to find um, Christmas records on Edison. So the early um, dance orchestras, whenever I see Christmas, I grab them. The other side is the object of my affection. Of course, one of my favorite songs of all time. I believe I played this one for you. I'm not, wait, did I? I'm not sure. I don't think I played that one yet for you. Um, now three from the Knox, uh, auction 53. These are my three, wi three win winning items from the Knox. Uh, Don't Let Your Love Go Wrong by Johnny Fenton and the Swamp Stompers and Sweethearts on Parade on Bluebird. Beautiful. Uh, I got a perfect uh, Joe Reichman and his orchestra. Also the object of my affection. You see one of my favorite songs. And Hands Across the Table. Very beautiful. The object of my affection. Whenever I hear that song, I think of, uh, of course, Alfalfa. He always sang that song. Okay. And the final Knox uh, score was on Harold's to Lightning Hopkins. Blues is a mighty bad feeling. The other side is Boogie Woogie Dance. Beautiful, beautiful record in gorgeous shape. I played this for you on the other channel, Atomic Zombie Queen. This is awesome. I got this for a great price in the Knox. Um, there was a guy at the Antique Phonograph Show selling three Lightning Ho Hopkins Heralds in the parking lot show on the Saturday uh, before, and he wanted a hundred bucks each. 
So I got this, I think I got this for about $21 or something like that. It was ridiculous and it's just a great one. You'll hear it. I played it on the other channel. Uh, on the turntable tonight is Beatles Classics by Enoch Light. Very fun. This is an old one. I've had this for a long time. A lot of you have this. It's just great. It's a great one. So I think that's about it um, for now. I have some other stuff on the way. And once, once the art prints on the texture paper in their mats and everything, once those are all ready to go, I'll show you those. Um, so that's what's been going on, guys. I hope you're all having a magical, mystical, musical week. And I hope you're gearing up for Memorial Day. I'm not sure if the weather's going to be that great here. I, I, I know it's not going to be great Saturday, but uh, this is Sunday and Monday. Could be okay. And, uh, but a little bit cooler, which is fine with me because it's been like 90 degrees and humid and I hate that. I already put the air on this week and I, I always like to have like a month or two where you don't have to put on heat or air and that's, you know, it didn't happen this year. <laughs> so anyway guys, that is it. I will talk to you all very soon. Have a magical, mystical, musical Memorial Day. Bye.